How's it going guys? Real Rabman here back at it again with another video. We are going to the Coca-Cola 600 and this one I'm excited about because in my opinion there are four really big races in NASCAR. It's the Daytona 500, the Coca-Cola 600, the Southern 500, and the Brickyard 400. Those four races are huge in my opinion. And I mean, this is this is a monumental race. This is a, this is one of the races that I want to win badly, and I know we have the speed to do it. As you saw from last episode at the All Star Race, we have speed. So let's see if we can do it. We're going to the race weekend and put the chassis in the car. Going to go with number four. Everything's going to be the same as the All Star Race. No changes were made. No R and D work was made. Nothing. Uh, so it's going to be the same exact thing. Uh, we're going to go to qualifying. See how the car qualifies. And then uh, go to the race. I'm not expecting it to be as easy as the All-Star Race. Uh, I think the All-Star Race in this game is just a little bit easier to uh, to win, I guess. Because uh, I remember my first career win at Charlotte. We weren't even the fastest car, technically. Dale Jarrett was running us down at the end of that race, and we had to hold him off. So it's going to be an interesting one. Let's go to qualifying and see how it goes. Not a very good lap. I missed one and two. I was completely loose in three and four. Good speed. We'll start near the front. We qualify sixth. Uh, if I would have been able to nail that lap, I think we would have gotten pole. But that was not a very good lap. But it does not matter. We are up there. We're in the range where I want to be. It's a long race. Just got to get to them um, and see how it goes. So let's go with the call by MRN. Very excited for this one. Let's see what we can do. Welcome everyone to Charlotte, North Carolina. It's time once again for the running of the Coca-Cola 600 here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. And EA Sports is here to bring you all the action. This is an awesome facility, isn't it? A lot of these teams are based in this area, and this is a 2,000-acre dream come true for any NASCAR fan. I don't think there's a bad seat anywhere in this place, and there's always great racing to go along with it. The 151 car has an impressive qualifying record at these speedways. He really pushed that car in qualifying. Hopefully the team will be able to get a good race set up under the car for today. In 2002, it seemed that Harvick suffered through the sophomore slump we always hear about. With only one win and a 21st finish in the points, it was a down year. But you have to believe that a Richard Childress race team, especially one with Goodrich on the hood, is going to find its championship form sooner or later. The Stacker 2 Dodge really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it really doesn't show in the points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. And eh, maybe their luck will change today. Let's do this. Tony Stewart on the pole, and green flag is out. We have to get to the bottom quickly, so we got to get to the bottom. Sorry, Elliot Tyler, had to give you that little tap, but we had to get to the bottom, and we have to block both lanes a little bit just so we can kind of stall this horrible start that we are going to get. That was pretty much perfect. Okay, let's get on with it. Let's start the race now, basically. We're going to try to move our way up. See if Elliot Sadler is down there. He is. And we should be able to clear him here after we get really loose. Wow, 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 wow. I am sorry, Elliot Sadler. That was unexpected. That's why I cannot race in third person. I'm not good at it. I need to be in hood view. All right, let's go. We pull up right on the back of Kurt Busch. Looking to get around him. He's going to block a little bit. We're gonna just take it easy here. Not get loose entering the corner. We're gonna set up the move. Don't have to be very aggressive here early on in the race. We have 40 laps, plenty of time. 
see if we get underneath him here in the trial wall. One second left. Swap out. And perfect move. There we go. Okay. So we clear him now up to P4. I know I have speed in the car. Stuart, we can't let Stuart get out too far. It's the only thing we have to keep ourselves in check here. Sterling Marlin. Let's see if we get around him soon. Get a nice run coming out of turn four. Be right on his bumper and try to sneak up the inside in the trial. A little bit of contact, but we are fine. Entering these corners is a little bit risky. You have to make sure you let off the throttle at the right time or else you're going to get it completely wrong. So we get that move done. Now Junior is second. two right now entering the corner very nicely and I think we have junior clear not really he's still there so we're gonna just take it easy in a three and four on the apron a little bit he's still there and we are now clear all right so is that that is Tony Stewart right yeah that's Tony Stewart okay so Tony Stewart up ahead let's go run him down I feel like we do have the fastest car Letting her slide into the corner. She's a fast one. She's a hot rod. So let's go get him. The amount of time we are gaining. Look at us go. Oh my goodness. We were like four tenths back. We're going to give him a little rub. Sorry, Stuart. I really don't care at the moment. Dirty racing. But it is fine. We have to see how much time we can pull away by before our first pit stop so that was a necessary evil there to just rough them up a little bit because I am worried with my pit crew you guys know for those of you who have been watching this series you know about the pit crew and how many times they have screwed us over here we have to make sure they didn't do it in the first season I remember I was praying for them not to make a mistake and they actually pulled out a faster stop than estimated so I hope they can do the same thing here but just in case we need to pull out a gap as large as possible just in case something goes wrong. So we got the hammer down here and put in some qualifying laps. We have really pulled away. You're going to see the time gap here. 2.5 seconds. We are pulling away by a good amount every lap. I'm just focusing on my line, sticking around the bottom, and uh, letting her uh, letting her eat. This car is eaten. I'm going to say that. Beautiful night out here in Charlotte. We are chilling at first. I got to concentrate make sure we pull the gap away just in case for that pit crew mistake. You don't want to relax and then a pit crew mistake happens and then you're kind of screwed because you weren't prepared for it and then you lose too much time. So 3.2, we gained seven tenths that lap. We are flying. This car is on rails. It is amazing. I love it. I honestly feel like I'm in Jeff Gordon's T-Rex car. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, if you guys remember in 98, Gordon's T-Rex car at Charlotte in the All-Star Race was basically unbeatable. It was so fast that NASCAR basically banned it. That's what this car feels like. It is so fast. We have a 5 point something second lead. A huge gap on Tony Stewart and the rest of the field. I mean, this thing is just on rails. It is very fun to drive. Um, basically, in NASCAR Heat Evolution, this is where I was joking and stuff, but in this game, the driving model is actually like fun to drive and you actually do have to focus not to make mistakes so that's why I'm not really quipping or making any jokes right now we're just trying to focus here get the win a couple of cars are heading into pit road we are going to come in next lap I don't want anything stupid happening like a, uh, a phantom caution and then we're stuck um, one lap down or something like that so we're just gonna go one more lap keep it safe we have a, a huge gap so if Tony Stewart goes on fresh tires for a little bit not a big deal we're going to be completely fine. We're going to come in this time by. And here we come. Let's take it nice and easy into pit road. Playing it very safe. There we go. Okay, pit crew, this is all on you now. Four tires, no changes to the car. This is all on the pit crew. Can they come through in a moment of need? Let's see what they do. Pit road. This one's half over. Great job, buddy. Hold on to that lead. 
the crew jumps over the wall and begins the service of this machine. This is their opportunity to shine. They can't make any mistakes here. It'll be a routine four-tire change. We'll also put in two cans of gas. Four tires of gas. A little bit slow. But it was expected to be a 16.7, but it was actually like a 17 point something, but that is okay. We should be able to come out and cycle back through in the lead. That is the leader, Kevin Harvick, who I don't think has pitted yet. Um, so we are one lap down right now, but that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, here comes Jimmy Johnson and Kevin Harvick into pit road this time. Bye. So not a problem. Thank you, Jimmy, for giving me some room. And we are going to fly right by, get back on the lead lap, and let's see how everything cycles through. Here we come to take the lead back. Let's see what the gap is to Stewart. It's about a two-second gap, so we lose about four seconds on the pit stop cycle. But that's why we drove that hard to get that gap. Uh, even though the pit crew did not make a mistake, they were a little bit slow, but I'm not going to blame them. They At least they didn't make a mistake. If they did make a mistake, we'd be in a little bit of trouble. We'd be right with Stewart. But we are two seconds away. Now it's time to kind of just take it nice and easy, no mistakes. Bring her home. 15 laps to go in the Coca-Cola 600. And we should be able to get a win. 2.3 seconds. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Okay, so... Fittipaldi. Uh... Okay, let's... Let's see what we can do here. So, uh, we know we're going to have to get by him quickly. Uh, because if we don't... He will kill us, so we're just gonna share draft with him down the straightaway. Can't get beside him yet. Can't get beside him yet. Just go right by him. And actually, that share drafting just a little bit actually took the icon off the back of his car. He's no longer like a main rival, so that was probably a good decision on our part there. We move along, there's just, uh, I'm not really worried, we have a 2.5 second lead, uh, just a little bit of lap traffic, I remember the last time we were here, it was a little bit of a worry, slowed us up a little bit, just don't want to wreck the car around them, so just gotta take it nice and easy through the lap traffic, sometimes the AI will block, because they're trying to stay on the lead lap, obviously, so, gonna have to just be very careful, we have a 2.7 second lead, let's not force anything here, just get around them. This is a moment where... Being patient is the right thing to do. Don't want to take it three wide. Let's just wait here. Let good old Greg Biffle go by. Give him a little tap there. And we are fine. Perfecto. And we are clear. Easy. Move on. A couple more lap cars to engage with, but really should not be a problem. Just two more lap cars to maneuver, and then we are in the clear. We have Casey Mirrors and Hermie Sadler. Just going to move nicely to the inside of uh, Casey Mears. Hermie will wait on you. He's actually trying to block a little bit. You're going to go to the inside right there. And we should be clear in a second. In the grass a little bit. I'm trying to keep my distance here. Oh yeah, we're clear by a lot. Okay. And now we have clean track. If you look at the top right of the map, I can tell we have plenty of clean track. Seven laps to go. Let's bring this baby home. She is a fast hot rod. I know that coming to the white flag of the PA announcer in this game likes to like, I don't know, speak? I, I can't hear the game right now, but I know when I watch the videos back that the PA announcer likes to say something in the last lap, so I'm going to be quiet here in the last lap. Let's enjoy it. Coming to the white flag, one lap to go in the Coca-Cola 600, let's get this win. Come to the trekker flag, and we get the win in the Coca-Cola 600. Tony Stewart second, Junior third. We are going to celebrate. Don't well, the, the engine does count in this one, so let's uh, let's celebrate appropriately and responsibly. Let's not burn the entire car down, but we're gonna burn it down just a little bit. Oh yes, thank you, thank you. One of the monuments crossed off the list. Let's see, can we do a bin out like this? I remember, can we? Does it work? No, it doesn't. God damn it. 
Let's back her up, back her up. Alright, that's all she has. Okay. Let's go to victory lane. There were only I cannot wait. Oh, yes. Yes, let's go, baby. There's the trophy, and the check, and a couple of rivals, but we don't care. We get the money from the sponsors, we go to 4.12 million dollars, which is just beautiful, we have plenty of money now. Oh, let's go, go back to team management, check what's going on there, let's also check the standings, I'm gonna check the standings real quick, uh, see where we are, the goal was top 10, ooh, that's... That looks, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Number 8, Dale Jr. Oreo car. Very nice. Okay, let's quickly, after this saving thing, check the team management, check the standings, see how we are. And we finally, yes, I just need to win the Daytona 500. If I, if I could win the Daytona 500, I'll be very happy. I don't know if we could, but I just know for a fact that by the end of this season, I'm making sure I have, like, a top quality engine for that Daytona 500. Let's check the standings. We are now in the top five. Gordon is now in first. I remember Junior was in first. Now Gordon, very tight at the top. Only 19 points separate the top three. So that is interesting. Stewart second, Junior third, Marlin fourth, Harvick fifth, Johnson sixth, Burton seventh, and we are eighth. We are about a hundred and... Uh, calculations, a hundred and... Uh, I'm trying to do math in my head. What is that? 170 something points? 172 points? 168 points? Something like that. Somewhere around that area. Uh, we are 8th. Do I think we can win the championship? No. I, I don't think we can win the championship. But I do believe top 10 is still a very high possibility. That's the goal was top 10. Uh, top 5 maybe, but I don't think we could catch those top 3. We'll see. Um, let's check the... Uh, the schedule here so let's go to where's all-star then coke okay so dover uh i don't i don't know top 15 maybe pocono again we didn't really run that well the first season michigan we qualified well i remember this was the first time we qualified really well didn't run great though infineon oh no that's gonna be bad daytona chicagoland new hampshire pocono Brickyard, this is the next big race that I really want to win is the Brickyard. So hopefully we'll get the engine upgrade by then and then build an uh, engine as well. So let's go to team management, see what is going on here. Shop additions. We only have two races left on the engine uh, dyno, which should be coming in soon. And then we can build another engine. Those engine, engines will be very, very good. Let's go to the garage and just see what we can do around here. So we're going to repair number five. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're going to repair number five. See, overhauling, overhauling doesn't really do anything, as you can see. Uh, it does nothing. So this engine is basically at the peak of its abilities. So we're just going to repair it. Two races. Boom. And uh, if we build a new one, we uh, that's too long. We're going to wait till we can get another chassis upgrade, so not a big deal. Um, we're just going to uh, probably overhaul or sell this one, probably build another one. We'll sell this chassis and just build another uh, somewhat fresh one so mm, actually I probably should have sold that chassis oh uh, what do we do what do we yeah we'll build it hell with it we're gonna build that one we'll just work between those two for now not a big deal um, and then let's go to the engines and if we build another one, we want to actually hold off on this until we get that engine upgrade. So we're not going to be building another engine 
for a little bit, but we have this one repaired right here. Number five is being repaired right now, so that's completely fine there. And then uh, nothing really to do over here either. Not much to do, so uh, we should probably, since we're not going to be upgrading the, uh, the downforce anytime soon, because after we do the engine upgrade, we're then going to go to a chassis upgrade. So, honestly, might as well. I mean, look at that downforce and drafting. That looks pretty good. So, nine races. I'm, I'm okay with waiting on that. Not a big deal. So, we'll wait on that. And, uh, yeah, that's all that's going to be for the R&D. So, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We are going to Dover next. Do I think we can win that? Probably not. But, hey, anything's possible. We are on a really good streak right now. So, I uh, hope you guys are going to have a great day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. In my dreams, I do this for you. I do this for my mother, who's finally clean. No longer a fan. I do this for you. I do this for my sister, my wife, and my kids, cause they part of the team. I do this for all the naysayers and haters who made.